Libra, what it got damn be, bruh. You know it is me. It is she. It's Scorpion Reds, several. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Photo remix. Yes, indeed. We are here to find out what is going on with my booze. Libra, gang, gang, gang. You already know what the deal is. We find out what's going on mid-month June, the 15th through the 30th. Shout out to all my Libra gang that done clicked this video. To all my new subscribers, thank y'all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank y'all for vibing. Y'all already know how we get down over here, all right? Listen, I'm not about to do no long intro because I already know my Libras love me a long time. Y'all already know about everything only thing that you might not know about is the patreon and the merch you guys if you guys follow me in the morning for the morning slide if y'all like the morning slide y'all go ahead and check out my merch link in the about tab you can get you a morning slide mug you know what i'm saying so you can sip some tea with your girl in the morning you feel me listen if there's anyone who cannot book a personal private reading because you cannot afford it we have a new membership group the scorpion rest collectors gatherers over on, over on patreon there's a monthly membership for a dollar ninety nine or four ninety nine, you guys can become a member. We're gonna be over there. You're gonna have a lot of exclusive readings that we will not see over here on YouTube. We have some ex sexually explicit content. Listen, y'all over here be sending a bitch freaky decks, freaky freaky decks. Oh, a freaky decks. All about sex. Oh, a freaky decks. What's going next? Oh, ooh, hold on, y'all's too, y'all's too exclusive. Y'all too exclusive with the exclusivities. Okay, so we're gonna take that one over. Yes, indeed. Two, Patreon. We will be doing some sex, secret, and scandal readings. Yes, we're going to get into all of the dirt and we're going to mix it up with the tea. You already know. You understand me? So, like I said, um, the difference, the difference between the $4.99 and the $1.99 um, when it comes to the personal readings over there, um, like I said, they're going to be quick readings, about 10 to 15 minutes uh, per person in the chat. Um, in the 199 group, you guys are going to be able to submit me questions or be able to send your questions to me in the live. It's one question per live session. Now, once I get my bluetooth speaker all fixed up together and everything i'm going to have a conference line and on a 499 tier you guys will be able to call me and speak to me and do the live reading on voice okay y'all will be able to call in and see me on the live pulling your card so it's going to be amazing not only just that we once i get my conference line up we're going to be having some live calling discussions at nighttime you guys on the weekends where we want to be discussing live like a lot of the information that's been coming out in the chat like if you guys ever experienced like somebody um having a crush on you at your job like how did you deal with it if anybody's ever dealt with cheating what was your experience how did you deal with you know what i'm saying so we can be able to be more interactive with each other and through our own experiences be able to help each other and be in a most important a private setting so only members have access to Patreon. So, yes, it's going to be amazing. So, thank you guys so much for all of that. Um, if anyone wants to book a reading or wants to send some love through um, the Amazon wish list, oh, I want to thank uh, 31 Shadows again for this. The, Merit, um, the Norman deck, this is the Healing Light, the Norman deck that she sent over. Thank you guys so much because you know we are always, always, okay, working towards better things and they sent that to me for my graduation so i appreciate it we also got the zen tarot deck which is a new deck here as well as the love oracle deck i wanted to give a shout out to again cali and amanda where's my phone right here well, i don't see nobody anyway so let's get into if you want to book with me, click the About tab. You'll see my links in there. There's a link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. So go ahead and book and then link up with me. My Instagram link is right under that. If you don't have Instagram, you can send me a message on Google Hangouts, which is an easy app to download. Only thing you need is my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And then we'll link up there. If you do not want to get on camera and you just want a private video upload of your, of your reading, only thing that you need to do, pick book your reading there's an add-on 
called a video recap or private upload. You need to book your reading, add the add-on, and then when you um, send your message on Instagram or over Google Hangouts, send me the question pertaining to the reading that you're getting, but only send me what you want to know. Don't tell me why you're asking the question, okay? Because I don't want you to say, well, you, I just told you that, okay? So only tell me what you want to know, and I'm going to go into the situation blind, and I'm going to pull the energy in about 24 to 48 hours. You'll have your upload either to Instagram or Google Hangouts, whatever you choose. Also, for the people that are having the live um, readings with me, the video chats, if you want a, a, me to record your, your video, record you a video of the, the reading session, I will record it for you and do the same for you, upload it to YouTube and send you a private link if you want a recap of your reading, okay? So let's get into the energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for my Libra Libra gang, 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 gang. Father, Thank you so much for just keeping us unbothered. Thank you so much for keeping our head up, our chin high, smile on our face and our eyes open wide, gleaming into the future. Father God, we've been looking up in them clouds and we've been seeing all type of shapes of beautiful unicorns and stuff. Because you know we special unicorns, Father God. We just seeing signs of just blessed glory and just <laughs> Look, we just being in high favor of uh, 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 Father God. Listen, when you say the words blessed and highly favored, you better picture Libra, okay? Scorpio and Libra, okay? Because we neck to neck. We, 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 look, we like that. We kiss a cousin. Oh, how you doing? Oh, how you doing? Okay? Because we right there, okay? How you doing? Beep, beep. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Libra, okay? What it be, bruh. So listen, Father God, give us guidance. Give us the air in our the air in our chest, the air in our lungs to help us breathe again, refreshed and renewed, Father God. I know I am over here in my chair. I'm up on my I'm sitting up on my uh <laughs> I'm sitting up on top of my legs. My butt ain't even, ain't even in the seat. I don't know. I'm just I'm up on my feet, Father. I'm up on my feet. Father, you know. Give us guidance for the sign of Libra. Give us guidance. Continue to give us happiness. Continue to give us faith. Continue to give us joy. Continue to give us healing, Father God. Continue to reveal to us that life path that you have set for us. Thank you so much for our feet moving so delicately, but vigorously. Delicate, soft steps, but vigorously towards our blessing. Thank you for keeping us blessed and highly favored. Father God, give the sign of your guidance. Yes, Lord. For June the 15th through the 30th. Thank you again for all the messages in the past, present, and future. Give us guidance. Okay, you got a lot popping out. Complete. Oh. Why my hand just feel warm right here? I just feel something hot going across my hands, so huh? the fuck was that about? <laughs> the fuck was that about, Slim? What the fuck was that about? Anyway, completion. What does it say? Intuition, environment, and patience. Okay, you got a lot of colors. I like this. This is looking very, very tropical. Very unstoppable. Very tropical. Very unstoppable, ladies, shall we? Fellas, shall we? Okay. Come to me now. Ain't that <laughs> Ain't that what Miss Cleo said? Come test me now, okay? I'm a, be Miss Cleo, okay? Me be Miss Cleo. Okay, listen. Listen to me. Listen to me, Tonita. You have completed a stage in your life, honey. You are in a stage of completion. Uh-huh. You have completed a cycle. You have been political. You have strategized. You know with infinity. And we're going to infinity and beyond, beyond, beyond. Yes, honey, you are open-minded. You are confident in your steps forward, for you know that a door has been closed so that you could walk into a brand new future. Honey, come on, spirit fingers, spirit fingers, bitch, because we got intuition. We are psyched up with the universe. You see that sacral chakra? You see we know what we feeling. We know what we revealing. We know what we doing. We know what we doing, girl. Okay? Our intuition. Hold on. Spirits, fingers. Are you snapping with me? Spirits, fingers, bitch. Hold on. 
we done switched up our environment. Hold on. We done got green on a bitch. We done got mean on a bitch. We got extra sheen on a bitch. Okay? Okay? See, them other hoes, they dry. They're toasty. All right? They need some moisturizer. Okay? Some moisturizer. Go, go. Moisturizer, honey. We looking green. We looking mean. Oh, we got extra sheen, bitch. Are you on my team, bitch? Say it with me. Say it with me, shall you? Pink Power Ranger. You tip corn pussy. Put your fist in the air. Wave around like you don't care. Unite, bitch. Boom. Did you come through and switch up your environment on hoes? Did you switch up? Did you switch up on a nigga? Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute, because you're doing too much for me, Miss Libra. Miss Libra, you are doing me real nasty right now. Girl, you're real dirty, girl. You are real dirty, girl. I like your style, honey. You play dirty. Ooh, you like to get down deep, honey. Oh, yes. And you tell you, and you got patience. You like to sit down and wait and watch your blessings come to you. You be like, mm-hmm, well, Lord, go ahead and work that. Mm -hmm. You see how I cleaned up my environment and how I completed these cycles and I, you know, use my intuition. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't be snapping no pictures, but it's going Okay, hold on. Uh-uh, Libra, because now I'm getting mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Libra, you coming out like a superstar, motherfucker, snapping pictures, bitch. We got to watch out. We got to watch out, Libra. Why do I feel like them pictures being snapped like that meant something? Father, give me guidance. Give me guidance, because Libra has been cleaning up their shop. They've been cleaning up their environment to make it so that they can receive these blessings. They're patient, they're balanced, they're intuitive. Everybody down there in that damn comment section, let me see them uh what that emoji with the with the with the guy with the party hat on blowing the uh the little uh balloon the little thing. Yeah, go ahead because y'all done graduated. Uh-huh. Y'all done graduated. Shouts out to my labors to yes. You are queen to be Oh, queen to be, bitch. Okay? Let me guidance for my Libras. Tell me what it be for. Them. Guidance. <gasps> Did the Lord to come on? You are queen to be. Queen to be, bitch. Didn't I tell you we made it to a con? Look at you. Look at you. Look at you and look at you. Hugging them trees. I told y'all y'all was coming. I knew who, which one, y'all, y'all left, which one y'all got the green down there? I like OG Kush, preferably, um, you know, a little gelato from time to time. If you really ain't got nothing real special, I like a little, you know, Girl Scout cookies, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know. Oh, okay. Let me mind my business. I ain't trying. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Because we are the world. Because we are the children. Because we are the ones that make a better place when there's no feeling. There are joys to make it. We're saving all our lives. We ain't saving all our lives. We damn sure ain't. I'm saving my life. I don't know about you. I'm over here hugging these trees, sitting in the Everbreeze. Okay? <laughs> like, okay? Being a whole shape butter baby. Listen to me. What this is saying right here. I'm hard now. We want to see who's about to come out on the other side of this world. Should I go into this before I say? No, let me see what's on the other side of this world here. Because this world is in the, is in the reverse. Because it seems like there's one more thing. Like you hugging the trees and shit. Smoking, smoking ganja leaves and shit all out in the Everbreeze. But, um... We had a we was at a level nine. That's the ten. It's in reverse. Wow. What's going on? What's the last step? What's the last step before we walk through the dough, Father? Oh, exhaustion. Okay. You working too hard. You work. You working too hard. I just feel like you need to. You need to relax. I think the last step is just like relaxing because you already been through these are two threes right here you done been through you did the work you got the guidance from spirit 
right? Your ships came in, you got your ass on that boat, and you done made it to Wakanda. You ain't even, like, really get to your house yet. Like, you out there hugging trees and just sitting out in the grass, rubbing your, your toes through the goddamn grass and picking up worms and, and ladybugs and shit. Like, you all out there like you Mother Mary and shit, bitch. Can we, like, um, can we go home first? Like, can we get, like, can you... Uh, can you put your bags down first? Cause you know, I you know, I'm scratching my head a little bit. Cause it's like you, you need to go home. You need to find out your new home and shit. Like you need to go and rest before you just go out there experiencing shit. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's like, <laughs> like you just got off the goddamn boat. I went in Wakanda. Okay, let's go to the club. I'm trying. Uh, ay, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like you, you just like, you want to be, you want to listen. You was got to hear. You want to be out there hugging. Listen, as soon as I step off the boat, bitch, just let me sit out here in nature and just be a flower child for a minute. I'll, go, I'll get to where I'm supposed to be in this world right now. I feel like right now you just outside being a flower child and shit. Like, I don't know what exactly that means. Postpone. You like listen to me. I feel like you doing too much before you really got a chance to adjust yourself in this new world and like you dumb excited. Like you dumb excited and I feel like you might possibly burn out your engine a little bit. You know? I think you're too excited. I just think you're too excited. That's all. And that's good cuz shit bitch when I get to listen. Listen to me. When I get to Wakanda, I'm going to do a cartwheel straight off the boat, bitch. You ain't got to worry about me. I'm going to do a cartwheel straight off the boat, okay? I feel like we just got to this world. You understand? I feel like you didn't even show them your official passport papers and everything like that. You just try to run past security and shit like that or whatever. And you exhausted and everything, but you just still, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like you just need to... We need to just calm it down, just postpone it. I know you want to get out there because you see it's a brand new world and stuff like that. And it's a whole totally horse of a different color out here. Oh, it's a whole... There's a big... Listen. Listen. Daddy long legs out here, honey. Baby legs, okay? What? What? You just want to skip and trip. And I, and I feel like you want to skip and trip. I feel like you need to go home first. Put your bags down. Don't rush. Don't rush. Do not rush. Like, we need to turn this world card around. You know what I'm saying? Because that's like, that's to me, like someone saying, like, you too excited, you too giddy. You showing me that you gonna burn yourself out on the first two days and stuff like that. And we got work to do. So I need you to be patient and just kind of chill out and use your in intuition and learn this environment. You know what I'm saying? Don't be too excited to jump out there like, you know, this whole picture ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't in full color yet. You ain't able to see the scenery in full color. So, like, don't burn yourself out just fast. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what I'm getting. It done got warm outside and y'all's just out there trying to fuck it up. Is that what it is? Y'all don't put y'all up. Y'all sundress on with no panties. <laughs> sundress and no panty time. Ooh. Ain't it about to be no panty day? Bitch, this, this shit about to be uploaded on no panty day. Hi. Any guidance for my Libras? The garden. Oh, yeah, you going all car. What we doing in the garden? Oh, you talk, okay. You've been meeting up with new people. It ain't been like, ooh, <laughs> bitch, yes. What? What? I told you, little bitch. You don't been. You don't went to the town square. Okay, you don't went to the garden, whatever the central meetup is, you done got straight off the boat, went to the central meetup. Like, can you give me direction to big dick Wakanda niggas? Because that's what I came here for, and I ain't trying to experience nowhere, nothing else. I ain't trying to go north, south, east. Where, which, where I gotta go? 
Okay. okay. So you you don't went somewhere. You talking to the locals and shit, and you like see. You seen a nigga that look like this? Got a big horse dick, just like. Burr. I don't feel like that's a goddamn um horse sound, but that's about as close as a horse that you gonna get, bitch. Cause I don't do animals. I don't know animals. I don't do goddamn animals. Okay, let me see. Let me read y'all what this mean, so y'all can understand what it mean. Uh, understand what it mean. Uh, the garden. The garden is a place to meet social invitation or a lover's triumphs. Mm, mm, mm. This is a social space. Representing openness and inclusivity. I told you we in Wakanda. Everybody ain't got access to Wakanda, bitch. They don't know about this Wakanda need shit. Okay? Alright? So let me see. Um, The garden is a place for communities. It signifies green spaces. A countryside. And recreation. Uh-huh. I told y'all y'all was somewhere with some greeneries around the trees. I told y'all. I told y'all. Bitch, listen. Pass the duchy to the left hand side. Oh. Pass the duchy to the left hand. Okay. Pass the duchy to the left hand side. Yeah. Pass the duchy to the left. More fire go. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Number 22, the crossroads. This card represents decisions, dilemmas, and problems. Several different alternatives lie ahead for you. Which one do you choose? North, I, oh, 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 oh. North, south, east, or west? Wakandanese well, dick. This card challenges you to take a different path. It represents advantages and disadvantages and choices to be weighed up. All right, so like I said, you meeting up in the town square and you talking to everybody that you know that look like they reputable and good, um, you know, local Wakanda citizens. You understand what I'm saying? And you're like, hey, I heard y'all have a lot of nice, suitable, good men out here. You know, um, can you point me in the direction? So I feel like you need to pay attention to the source of where you getting information from because I don't want you end up in the wrong area. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. The rider. The long rider. Ooh, daddy loved me long time. The rider is a courier. A kind of man burying news or a message. He represents swiftness, agility, updates, and feedback. He can be an eligible young man or the other man. In an extramarital affair, the writer brings good things into your life, including renewal or improvements. Ooh. Is this your side dick? Are you going to Wakata to... Go get some side dick. I hope not because we don't like cheating. But I ain't no one to judge because I ain't never said I ain't never, I ain't never did nothing like that. But I'm a whole child of God now. I've been delivered. Okay, bitch. I'm going to keep it going because I'm going to mind my business because I don't want to know about y'all extramarital affairs. But, you know, this is Scorpion Reds. So if y'all out here doing some hooker hoe ass shit, you know what I'm saying? You going out there trying to get you a long rider. Bitch, I listen. Which street you took again? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. You said you was going to what? Oh, I'm sorry. What nightclub? Oh, I'm sorry. They was in the green pasture. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to mind my business because I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. Can we find out what's going on with this long rider? What's going on with the long rider? <laughs> the long provider. <laughs> the long guider. <laughs> the long good nighter. Oop. You ever go night night, nigga? <laughs> Did y'all just see my big ass eye? <laughs> you ever go night night, nigga? <laughs> This long nighter. This long provide. Ooh! I told you the nigga be busting shots down your back, bitch. 
Oh, he gonna put you in high honor. He gonna put you in a place of high regard. 21 shots loose. Boom, 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 boom. Load up the gap. I ain't reloaded. Oh, he gonna be busting your bag down. Plenty, plenty. Oh, but there's a message of concern. What are you concerned about? Is there a hospital near? I heard shit go all the way down to their ankles. I don't want, you know, any type of bodily injury. Let's see what this is that fell on the floor. Okay, two messages. Okay, what's what's going on with all of these messages? Like, why? Like, what, what, who who's messaging you, girl? Who is messaging you? Like, we was, we was, look, we was doing good. What are we doing? Is this a slide? Is this a slide? Is this a slide? Who is the take? Tell me about this long rider. Ooh, ooh. You're aggressive. Somebody in the distant horizon. I told you we was driving until we was going to Wakanda. Ooh, the child. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, 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 okay. The long rider is a long provider. For sure, because he got a child over in the distant horizon, honey, that you might not know about. You might. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm. I need to see to find out that, but we about to get into the tea, bitch. See, you ain't even know that we was about to do the tea tonight, did you, Libra? Did you, Libra? Listen to me. Tornita. Tornita. I don't want to have to repeat that. Tornita, listen to me, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see this one here? You see this one here? Yes, he trying to put you in high honor. Yes, he trying to come to be Casanova, honey. He trying to be Casanova, but you better watch out because you're going to be getting some messages as soon as you reach the Wakanda girl. You're going to meet the man. You're going to meet him in that garden, in that place where people go to convene and communicate. And them girls around it, they're going to be like, mm-mm, bitch. Not him, girl. You better be concerned about him, girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. I heard this shit go down to his ankles, too. He be sending bitches to the ICU, girl. And you're going to be like, the ICU, girl. The ICU, girl. I will see you later there, girl. <laughs> and you ain't know why she said that? Oh, yeah. Then you got another message. Girl, uh, <laughs> Girl, whole time, you ain't know. You know that chick that you was talking in the goddamn bar that she was like, yeah, bitch, I heard he got shit down to his ankle. I, I, I see you in the ICU later. That girl, mm-hmm. Girl, he be, he be holding her on high honor, too. And you gonna be like, hold on, bitch, but I thought it was good niggas in Wakanda, girl. You in the southeast side of Wakanda, girl. You gonna be like, for real? For real? But I had went to the bar and they told me to take this motherfucking exit over here. Girl, I don't know why you ain't motherfucker see me. I was sitting there the whole time. I invited you to come over and drink with me. You ain't see me. Motherfucker trying to steer you away from them hoes over there. Bitch, you was over there with hoes, girl. What? Mm-hmm, girl. That bitch sent me a motherfucking letter the other day and was like, mm. I heard he was messing with that new bitch mm -hmm, that just came into town the yeah, whole time. I got a whole baby by this man. And I'm and that shit about to be due in a couple of months. And like, so she better have fun with him because he's coming home with me. <laughs> You're like, shit, take me. I'm flabbergasted. I thought that there were only good men in Wakanda. Like they said choices you <laughs> you exhausted all of your shit like you li listen you exhausted all your energy as soon as you came to wakanda having fun and just no you needed to read the manual you needed to talk to the right locals you needed to get a little bit more acclimated before you just went on out there just singing we are the world <laughs> We are the children. We are the one to make a better place for us. Bitch, listen, there's a good and bad area everywhere. Listen, I don't give a fuck what country you in. There's a good and bad area everywhere. You can't just go in a new environment and don't know, don't see the whole picture. Bitch, you better know every motherfucking angle of that goddamn map, bitch, and make sure that you don't go in the wrong fucking neighborhood, bitch, okay? Bitch, you went in the southeast side of Wakanda. Girl, 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 you should have stayed up in the east side, honey. 
You should have stayed in the east side. Okay? Well, God deals like him. Let's see what's going on in the tea. Let's see what's going on in the tea. Let's see what's going on in the tea. Father God, please give these leaders some guidance, child. Because these children need some help. What's going on with this? Because I thought we was in the good, Father God. I did. Give me guidance. What's the tea with this long rider? Grasshopper. Situation that... Ooh, and the uh, finger's pointing at you, bitch. Ooh, they gonna be accusing you of sleeping with some my damn baby father. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, listen, listen here, young grasshopper. I told you don't jump your ass out there being too motherfucking swift, bitch. God told you to learn your new environment. Have patience because, listen, you just out there hugging trees and shit. Just all in it. Just one being experience and shit. Listen, listen, listen to me, young grasshopper. This is a situation... A situation in the balance that requires careful handling. You understand what I'm saying? Just because you got to Wakanda don't mean that you out of the wood. You got to like learn the bus route. You need to learn everything because there's a warning right now. Warning of a problem ever right now or in the future. And the finger is going to be pointed at you. All right? Tortoise. But you're slowly getting ahead though. But there's definitely going to be something... That is going to be brought to your attention. Oh, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Mm hmm. I told you that was your girlfriend sending you that message of concern. The one that is really your friend that you met at Wakanda, the one that really has your best interest. She's gonna be like, girl, slowly but surely, you gonna see this shit, and them fingers gonna be pointed right at you, girl. You better get out of that situation, girl. The mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Girl, uh-uh. Mule. Jug. Lighthearted. Carefree time. Camel. Preserve and you will overcome your pro. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Preserve your energy. Like, I feel like you need to fall back. I feel like you were being stubborn and like you were being told by somebody like, listen, this person that you're dealing with, you need to be careful and you need to use your intuition and shit like that because I don't want nobody pointing no finger at you saying some shit that you, you know what I'm saying, saying some shit that you get into, some shit that you ain't really into. Slowly but surely, you're going to find out about this person. This person that you're dealing with is undependable and they're not even sincere you understand they're said like but i feel like someone didn't want to listen someone was extremely stubborn and unwilling to change they didn't want to listen they still wanted to have like light, light-hearted and carefree time with this person even though you were told to preserve your energy and you will overcome this situation leg but you kept listen but you kept stepping your leg out there into this new experience in a tower, thinking that it was going to be a tower, a solid foundation with successful, with successful efforts being made there. Hmm. Give me more tea. Give me, give me, give give, give me more tea. Give me, give give, 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 give me more tea, baby. Give me more tea for my Libras, Eagle. But you're gonna try over, up over troubles. Just keep your life in balance. You gotta. You need to fall back. The key is gonna be a successful outcome to the problem. Goldfish. And there's gonna be an increase in material wealth and in spiritual growth. I think you need to learn this new environment. Learn about the people in this area. Number one. Tanker. Yeah, because you just you just like. You just out doing too much. You out having a, a good ass fucking time and stuff like that. You out getting drunk. And I think that you might be getting, even though you in Wakanda and you in this place, you in the motherland and everything. I feel like you just, um, you getting too close up with the wrong crowd, even in Wakanda. You know what I'm saying? And they're looking at, and, and I feel like, because the people, the townspeople, they're looking at you like, 
who is this girl? Like, she just coming in like, hey, like, hey, y'all done made it. <laughs> like, she in here, like, mimicking our tongue, talking about, hey, 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 like, what? Like, this bitch is fucking crazy. She seemed like she fun and stuff like that, but she seemed too turned up. She needs to turn down a little bit because we don't, we don't do all of that here. You know what I'm saying? And it got, you know, to dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Did I even show y'all these cards? I'm sorry. But yeah, you're going to triumph over this success. You are going to triumph over troubles and obstacles. You just got to keep everything in balance. You got to do all of this shit in moderation. The key successful outcome to this problem is going to come you in the increase in material wealth. So you didn't move here for no reason. You moved here to be successful, not just to get tankered and celebrate and have fun. You know what I'm saying? Don't get distracted. A dog, pleasure with a close friend, okay? Lion, time to act. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. Chair filled, someone new is entering your life. Come on. Sun, happiness, well-being. Needle and thread, a sincere wish is being granted. So look, listen to me. Listen to me. Hmm. We're going to get some more information about this tea because I'm feeling like the situation with the child might not be that, that bad. As long as the person come out and tell you about the fucking child and shit like that. Like, cause right now it just seems like you just meeting this person. Like, I feel like you need to slow down and get to know this person because stuff is coming out about this person that you met in this new environment. And I feel like you moving too fast and you not, you not being patient and you need to allow more time to get to know this person. Do you see what I'm saying? Before you just decide that you going to go balls to the wall. <laughs> oh no, that you going balls to the fucking wall. Um, I don't feel like the situation with the child is bad. But this person needs to come out and tell you this shit. And I don't want you just out there celebrating and having fun. And just moving too fast and not allowing certain shit that you need to learn about someone before you give them too much to come out. You know what I'm saying? Like You need to learn someone before you earn them. Learn me before you earn me. Yes. The funky did not even say that? Anyway. Clarify this tea. What's going on with this child? With this person that's filling the chair? Shit, I'm happy about that chair being filled though. Shit. Oh, 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 okay, you want to do me like that? I told y'all y'all was going to do me dirty. Yeah, y'all definitely found somebody that you working together with, that y'all building a new foundation. Y'all definitely found a new man, okay? Yeah, the hermit in reverse. You, look, you done stepped out. I told y'all, y'all not. Y'all done healing. Y'all done done. Listen, the justice that was, listen, I don't think that y'all even care about justice being served in no past situation. You just... You don't care. Like, you move forward. You're building something with somebody else. The nine of swords here. Um, I feel like for a long time that you guys, this, this, this justice not being served. Let me, let me put all this shit out first. Because shit, god damn it. There go that ace of cups. Queen of cups, come on, mama. Come on. King of swords, judgment in reverse. A chariot, but we move forward successfully, and we found love. And the Queen of Cups, cause we we let go with certain shit, and we got temper. And we come on, and it ended with the death. Come on now, come on now. So listen, cause you about to stick somebody with the needle. You like bitch, you better back the fuck up. So listen. You definitely got somebody that I feel like you met someone in this new town, like someone hooked you up. I feel like this was a um like a hookup or something like that. Hold on, you guys. I feel like this is someone that you met by way of a friend, by way of the job, like maybe the, your new job that you um have there. But I definitely see whoever this is that you met this person and 
y'all been working like building blocks and foundations with each other y'all been spending a lot of time with each other and i do see like you have been spending times with this person's friends like you're you're in this new environment you're in this new world and stuff like that but I feel like the thing about that world in reverse, I feel like there's something from the old world that you haven't ended. I feel like you move too fucking fast. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you move too fast and you need to slow down and finish working with this person and continue building. Don't don't try to do this shit too fast. Yeah. And I feel like here, like, I feel like this person is spiritual because it looks like it's a church. I feel like this person is spiritual. I feel like this person is really grounded. But it's something that you need to know about this person as well. About this child and, and the child's mother and all of this stuff like that. Like, you need to learn about that, but... I feel like y'all just immediately just started building blocks. <laughs> like, y'all just immediately just started building. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, as soon as you meet this person, you're like, okay, fuck that shit. I'm healed. <laughs> I'm healed, okay? Just to serve. I don't even give a fuck about this shit no more. But at the same time, I do feel they're not being a completion and you seeing justice being served, that still keeps you up late at night. You're still a, you're still in a mental prison about that because so many things were said and done. So many things were said and done by this king of swords in reverse. This motherfucker was so mean and so cruel and so evil. And the way that they just cut you out, it was like so unforgivable. Unfor you know what I'm saying? It was so unforgivable. Forgivable, and even though we're at the nine, you know what I'm saying? We're at completion almost, which is one step. Like, I really do feel like y'all have to stop looking for justice to be served and that and just let that shit go. Y'all have to. Because this judgment right here, I feel like God hasn't finished their judgment with this person. This person is still out doing more fuck shit. You see what I'm saying? To other people. And it's all being calculated. It wasn't just about you, my dear. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, please, like, stop allowing this shit to get in the way. And I feel like that's for specific people because the vast majority of this group, they ain't worried about seeing no goddamn justice and shit like that. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. They know for good and goddamn sure they ain't come all this way for naught. I ain't go through all of this shit for naught. You see that chariot right there? They done slayed dragons already. I slayed that dragon so I can get my ass on this motherfucking bus, on this motherfucking boat, and on the plane, bitch. I done been on the bus, a boat, and a motherfucking plane, and the train to get my ass here. And you think I ain't about to come here and experience love? You got me fucked up. I, would, I wish I would dare, okay? I wish I would dare. I love myself too much. And when I do kneel and I pray, I pray for myself. And I thank God every goddamn day that I'm a forgiving person, I'm a forgiving heart. And regardless of what that person did to me, I forgive them because I can't go forward and be happy if I don't forgive them. Fuck them, okay? That's my forgiving. Fuck them. And I don't care. It holds no value in my heart no more. I don't hate them. I don't love them. I don't dislike them. I just don't nothing. Just like I forgive them for what they did. Like whatever. I'm no longer seeking justice. I don't care. I don't care. I release that shit. I let that shit go. That shit is weighing me down. It has no value in my life whatsoever. Nope, nope, nope. The Queen of Spears. And then it's like... The Queen of Spears in reverse. I, I want... Because... I feel like the more and more that y'all y'all focus on stuff like that, it makes you think bad thoughts about potential shit in the future. And as soon as someone comes and give you some information, I feel like y'all will go autom automatically to the deep end and start thinking it's like, oh shit, like... I don't deserve this with that justice in reverse. 
and you going to stand up late at night thinking like, is this one going to cut me out too? Am I having bad judgment? Did I go the wrong direction? Do I not know where I'm going? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just, just like, I don't, you know, I don't want, I don't want you guys to, to go there. I don't want you guys to go there. And I hope that I'm making sense because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta kind of let go of that, that one little piece of baggage because like I said, when these people come to you with this information, if you fully heal, like at that ten of coins, I mean that yeah, that ten of coins, or and that world is in the upright, complete completion, where it's new phase, new world, new everything, completely. You know, someone coming to you telling you about a child, you be like, okay, that's nice, um, but I don't know you neither. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to see what happens, and if you do approach them about it. You approach them about it in a diplomatic way where it's not you getting your feelings all involved and stuff like that. And you feeling all destroyed, just feeling like, I don't deserve this and this, this, and that, and blah, blah, blah. Because guess what? I Listen, I'm new here. I should have went home, you know, put my bags down, took a nap because I already am jet lagged. You know what I'm saying? You went out partying and hanging with people. You ain't even, like I said, you still jet lag. Your brain, you don't travel on a bus, a plane, a train, and a helicopter. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You done did so much. And it's like you you needed to go home and get some rest and get yourself balanced. You know what I'm saying? Eat you a nice meal. Something green, mean, okay? And lean. You hear me? Eat you something good. Say you a quick prayer. And then come on out. Come on out and stick them. <laughs> Come on out. You know what I'm saying? Like, with that death card right there, it's like putting that nail in the coffin and ending, and ending whatever that last piece. It's like a last piece of the fucking puzzle. It's the last piece of the fucking puzzle that's missing here. You know what I'm saying? Because we're at the nine. Yes, that's a... That's at completion but it's not full completion soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically okay yeah it's like i feel like y'all hopes are like you're so excited it's like you i don't know if y'all seen that video when i said something about when you manifest something, don't hover over top of your manifestation. Plant that seed, nurture it. Make sure every day that you nurture, you water it, you give it the proper attention. But you step back in and you allow it to grow. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to step back and you got to allow it to grow. I think that the last step is for you to calm down and not be so eager. Because you you moving, everything is moving too fast. You're thinking too fast. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't think you, you're allowing. It says, give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. There you again, kissing and hugging the damn trees, young. Listen, y'all. Uh, Y'all on some real hippie ass shit Smoking tree Kissing and hugging trees and shit It says If you could do anything what would it be The answer that dwells in your heart Not in your mind For the heart is the gateway To the soul So it's like your whole thing Is, is about You in this new environment You're excited but ha okay, and then okay, reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. This is what I'm feeling like. Reflect. Okay, I feel like you need to take a step away from your manifestations if you're trying to bring this new love in. Because number one, we're already in the right environment, right? Right. So we completed that task. 
Now, only thing we have to do is get acclimated to our new environment, have patience, and don't get ourselves in any motherfucking trouble while we're here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I strongly want to stress that to you. Do not just be going, talking to just any damn body, and just having it up. No. I need you to go home, watch the news, okay? Watch the news. Rest, go go to the market, get you some good food and stuff. Get acclimated to your environment and have patience. You will see the signs. You understand what I'm saying? And then the reflection right here is I'm it's a, I believe it's a self-reflection because I feel like some of you guys are crying because it's just like I done traveled and I done went through all of this work and it's just like Oh, what's going on and everything that love is coming to you you have to allow it to come to you you gotta end you gotta stick them you understand what i'm saying you have to stick this landing you know what i'm saying when they be doing the little jumps and flips you gotta shoot boom you gotta stick the landing girl that's what god is waiting for you to do to stick this landing what is this the hangman in reverse yes new direction we are not hung up on nothing no more all right all right, all right. New perspective, new perspective. You guys have a new perspective and an outlook on life and everything like that. You no longer hung up on old shit. That old person no longer has the key to your heart. Like I said, we're getting to the point where we're aware. We're no longer looking for justice and stuff like that. You're no longer obsessed with this situation. All right, you have a new long. <laughs> you no longer care about it. You've released all of that stuff. I feel like in regards to this love coming to you, it's about you guys stop being hung up and obsessed about this new love coming to you. The Queen of Cups, I need you guys to just be emotionally fulfilled within yourself. I need you to go out this summer, enjoy yourself. I need you to feel your every heart's and desires. You know what I'm saying? I need you to be loving, caring, and nurturing to yourself. And stop stressing about the love. It'll come to you when you least expect it. When you're not paying attention to it. Reevaluation. Yeah. Reevaluation. Just be patient. There you go with the motherfucker trees again, girl. Just sit up under the tree and smoke you some leaves and just chill. Girl, I'm trying to tell you, you're going to be sitting there. Somebody going to be like, is that OG? Oh, shit, bitch, you smoke? You're going to be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's going on and all this stuff like that. Listen, what is this saying? <laughs> You're gonna be like, listen, um, <laughs> I feel like your whole defense and your whole everything, like this, um, what the fuck am I trying to say here? Because that polar bear just threw me the fuck off. Because listen, the Seven of Wands is like conflict, that's confusion, that is, um, rivalries and things like that I don't think that you're even I feel like that iceness on your heart that coldness is going to melt down like once you realize that I need to go back to the drawing table I need to replant this seed you know what I'm saying and just I'm not going to stand and hoover over my plant and just wait for the leaves to sprout out it's never going to grow that way and number one it ain't getting no sun you understand let me plant my motherfucker seed i'm gonna go make me a motherfucker hoagie and shit go get me some skittles and a motherfucker arizona iced tea and shit like that i'm about to sit right here on the side of this tree roll me some tree and i'm about to chill and it's like man look you on your motherfucker cell phone watching netflix eating a hoagie smoking a j and shit and next thing you know shit your whole defenses and everything like that, you weren't even thinking about it no more because you were comfortable. You were patient in your environment. You were waiting. You were loving yourself. You were intuitive and sensitive, and you were leveled. Do you see what I'm saying? You weren't hung up and obsessed about how the shit was growing. You just know that it's growing, and you sitting over there smoking your motherfucking J, enjoying your motherfucking environment, you know? And then somebody creeped up on you. When there wasn't nobody around, there wasn't nobody saying nothing, there wasn't nobody had something to say, and all these messages and people trying to get in the middle, and no, 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 that shit wasn't even around. 
And you can't even dip back into that defense mechanism because, bitch, you sit on the tree, you high as fuck, you mellow as shit. So you see what I'm saying? You in your environment. You in this new environment. You see what I'm saying? You learning how to adapt to this environment. Listen, we cool. We tranquil around here. We don't get all... We, we, don't, we don't do all that over here. You know what I'm saying? We just be on some queen, chill, baby, chill ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you get approached. You understand? Well, you don't... See, you went in the bar... Trying to look like a star. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. You found somebody that was right on your level. Motherfucker came and sat down right next to you and said, shit, you trying to match up? Hell yeah, nigga, spark that shit. Nigga lit his motherfucking J. Said, bitch, I just came from the fucking taco place, man. Shit, you got hoagie. I got tacos. What's popping? Shit, don't think we needed some milk. And you like, what? I got me some wine right here in my bag, nigga. You ain't said shit. You like, man, you cool as shit, nigga. You cool as shit. <laughs> Travel completed. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, listen, let your intuition guide you. Your intuition is telling you to listen, enjoy your environment, just chill and have patience and let the shit come to you naturally. Let Give this shit some time to grow. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have to defend your need for having to want the love and everything. Like, we know that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Just chill. You ain't got to... Profess your love and love. What is this? Believe and succeed. This is in the reverse, though. So, what's this? The third eye. Yeah. So, in regards to this love thing, it's just, like I said, y'all third eye's just been knocked off. It's just, excuse me. It's like having an honest communication with your heart. Okay? Just because you see it doesn't mean that you can't believe it. You know what I'm saying? You have to see it in, in, inside your temple and know it for a fact that, look, let me stop pressuring myself. Let me stop putting so much pressure on this coming into my life. Let me get off of being hung up and obsessed about this and just live and enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Go with the flow. Listen, go with the flow. Just go with the flow. You know? It's because you don't see it, you don't believe it, and you don't know that it's true, and that's why it's not happening. You need to come to some understanding about that. You need to go with the flow. And look, there go that number 10. Your last lesson is just learning how to go with the flow. You did everything else. See, you thought the completion was you moving to Wakanda. That wasn't the completion. The completion is was what you was going to do when you got to Wakanda. Do you feel what I'm saying? Trust. Go with the flow and just trust. Listen, the 10, and then it goes back to the zero, which is faith. Learning to go with the flow and have faith. Father God, you better come through with a message today. And then your dreams will come true. Girl, listen, I'm not even about to do this with y'all. I'm not at all, because I fucking love goddamn Libra readings. And y'all irritate me, because I only wish that my readings was like this all the damn time. And it ain't. So let me stop. <laughs> so let's get this last love spread and we are out of here. Libras, my babies. Listen, you are in Wakanda. Ele, le, 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 bitch, be in there. You understand? Just relax. Trust and know. <laughs> Everything that you want is coming to you. Just go with the flow and have faith. Enjoy your new environment. Trust your intuitions. Don't think that just because you made it to Wakanda that there ain't no shaky, flaky people there. There are. You can't trust everybody. That's why you got to listen to your intuition and have faith. Give me some last guidance for Libra and love. Ooh. All on the floor. <gasps> Ooh. Orange. Enthusiasm, excitement, warmth, transition, and then the trend. Nah. T in the name of Jesus. Ooh, I think around October. Yes, honey. Mm, ain't that our season, honey? Ain't that our season, little pussy cat bitch? Mm. There's going to be a lot of ex enthusiasm, excitement, and warmth around October. Libras. Ooh, there go that door. You got the key to open it, boo. 
we sure do you think we came all the way here for no reason i told you god said to go home first and put your bags down take a shit shower and shave find out find the cable listings you don't even know the news channel to this new area you ain't never lived here before you don't even know how to find the news you don't know what channel maury come on you don't know what channel empire come on come on girl Come on, you need to feel this mind, body, and soul. Honey, you on the right path. Ain't that what that say? Yeah, it says my, the Trinity, mind, body, and soul. You are in the zone. Express your authentic self. Yes. Go in there. Get yourself together. Spruce yourself up. Because, honey, we are winning. And you see all this orange I'm trying to tell y'all in October. Shit about to pizzazz. Shit is about to pop. Make it down south. Give me some last guidance for my Libras in love and then we out. Ooh, y'all just got the chills. Mm-mm. Y'all just got the chills. That's a confirmation. Ooh. The cosmic plan. Ladies, I can't do with y'all. Fellas, I already knew with y'all. Fellas, I already knew with y'all. Y'all already knew what was up. Mm-hmm. Y'all already knew what was up. Because y'all been waiting for them nice, juicy women to come to Wakanda, wasn't you? Mm-hmm. Look, the Libra men just been sitting here just like, who coming to Wakanda? Oh, it's been my cosmic plan because I'm about to open up the door for all of them. So, let me shut up. <laughs> Listen, this has been y'all reading. If this reason... Blah, what? If this reading resonated, y'all click that like button. I love you. Love you down. I will see you guys at the mall in Wakanda because I ain't going in the... Um, I ain't going to no bar, honey. I'm going in the Chanel store, okay? I'm going to see what niggas in there shopping in Chanel. I'll tell you later. Bye.